Ladies and gentlemen, I am Draco Thuban. Let's play something. Today we're going to start playing The Dig, uh, brought to us by Lucas Arts. Uh, formerly Lucas Arts, now Lucas. What is it? Lucas? Uh, I can't even remember. It used to be Lucas. No, it's Lucas Film Adventures now. It used to be Lucas Arts. Um, did a lot of good games. Uh, one of them is Loom, which I've played previously. Uh, this is The Dig. Uh, Lucas Arts also did the Monkey Island games. Um, did uh, some Indiana Jones uh, adventure games as well. Uh, this one's uh, kind of unique as there's not um, dialogue choices per se, it's just pictures to, to uh, click on and decide what you want to say that way. Um, it's a good game. Uh, I've played through it once. Uh, I can't say I remember the whole thing. Um, going through is going to be uh, fun. But uh, this episode is going to be the uh, intro. Uh, I'll show you a little bit about it. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Let's get started on the dig. Of course I miss you, darling. This is the loneliest place on earth. The most exciting thing ever happens here is a day when it don't rain. Uh, excuse me, darling, I got some work to do. Get on in here, Pete. We got us a big old asteroid on a three-week collision course with Earth. The asteroid has been named Attila after the war leader of the Huns, who devastated Europe just before the fall of the Roman Empire. Attila was first spotted in a tracking station in Borneo. According to NASA sources, the probability of impact with Earth is 99%. Five, four, ignition. Boston Lowe said in the press conference last night, If the shuttle is the last hope of the human race, then it'll have to do the job, won't it? Wait a minute, folks. Let me introduce the landing team. Ludger Brink is a noted geologist. He'll evaluate our data on placement of the nuclear devices. We have to be accurate. The idea isn't to blow Attila to bits. If we did, some of the pieces would certainly hit Earth with devastating effect. And now I hardly have to introduce Maggie Robbins to you. She's probably the most well-known journalist in the world. Uh, Maggie, you're famous for having once said that you never put up with censorship in any form. Now you're under NASA command. Miss Robbins is a reporter by vocation, but on this mission she's... I think I can answer the question myself, Commander Lowe. Danny, I trained for this mission, and I have work to do in laying the nuclear charges. When I come home, I'll be a reporter and tell you all about it. But during the mission, I'm part of the team, and I will obey Commander Lowe like any good soldier. That may be the biggest news story of all. Maggie Robbins obeys orders. Five, 
In going over your bios, I find that Professor Brink is also a noted archaeologist. While it's well known that Maggie is a prodigy at learning new languages, is this just coincidence? Not at all. We wanted the best and the brightest for this mission. Dr. Brink and Ms. Robbins are not narrow specialists. They are resourceful, widely educated, and creative thinkers. Does that apply to you too, Commander Lowe? My job is to keep everybody alive. I don't have to be bright, I just have to be careful. The other two crew members will remain with the shuttle. Ken Borden is the most experienced shuttle pilot we have. Cora Miles is our payload specialist. As you all know, she's a candidate for Congress, but we figured saving the planet is more important than campaigning. It's cheaper, too. Any parting message for the people of Earth? We have exactly one chance. And we've got to do it right. Let all your prayers be with us. Geology and astronomy meet. A professor once told me, astronomers are geologists with clean hands and a squint. You going to quote him on that in some magazine, Robbins? I'm just part of the landing team right now, Commander Lowe. Well, there you go. Welcome to the wonderful world of the dig. Might not be what you expected, but uh, hey, here we are. Uh, I'm going to save it here, um, see if I can make some adjustments. Uh, As far as, no, well, that's about it. That's all we can do. But we're going to put text on here. Um, and we're going to save it. Bam. Right here. All right. Next time, uh, we actually start exploring the dig. I'm Draco Tubin. Thanks for watching. <laughs>